I'm Trevor Hale. I'm 19. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm African American, and I love metal. If and when you see me, I'll be wearing all black. I'll have on a band t-shirt or a shirt with a skull on it. Black fingerless gloves, chains, steel-toed boots. My nails will be painted black. My wrists will be wrapped in bracelets. Sometimes I'll be wearing black makeup. When you see me, you might be afraid, but don't be. This is just my armor. You might see the attire we wear in the metal culture, the skulls and the blood, and think I worship the devil. But this music is a positive force in my life. This music has saved my life. I found metal at the age of 15 at a free venue a few doors down from home. At the same time, I was struggling with depression because I was living in a house full of drug addicts. I practiced several forms of self-harm, such as drawing blood from my palms with sharp tools, burning my skin with cigarettes, and overdose attempts. But then I heard this song called Knives and Pens. The song talks about how you can either choose a knife to harm and kill yourself, or you can choose a pen to write. The song inspired me to draw and write when I'm feeling depressed, as opposed to harming myself. When I listen to metal, I yell and scream along with the music. I forget everything else that's going on in my life, everything that bothers me. I listen to the crash of the drums, the roar of the guitar, the pulse of the bass, and the howl of the lead singer. It feels like I'm releasing all the toxins from my mind and body. All the rules of the mainstream society, all the things that upset me. Corporate greed, racism, judgmental people, phony politicians, teachers that don't care, teens obsessed with celebrity gossip. A world I've never wanted to, nor will I ever fit into. But I fit into the mosh pit at the front of the crowd. You might not know we're here, but Baltimore is full of metal kids like me, sharing and releasing all of our frustrations together. But while metal has made me feel validated, it has made it harder for me to fit in with many people my age. Beyond asking me if I'm a devil worshiper, people criticize me just for being an African American metal fan. They'll ask questions like, why are you listening to white people's music? Do you want to be white? Or my favorite? Are you from the county? I wish that everyone could accept me, but I don't let it get to me because what I've learned from metal is to accept every person for who they are, including myself. The clothes and the music, it's an expression of what's burning deep inside me. Righteous anger with the injustice of the world. But I can still be metal in a suit and tie. Being a metalhead means that at the end of the day, no matter what you're wearing, no matter what race you are, it's all just sweat and screams and distortion when the lights go down.